friends our mobile phones which use full duplex two way radio communication over a cellular network of base stations known as cell sites are extremely useful devices in the current world how many times have we felt irritated without our mobile phones or felt we cannot live for a second without our cell phones probably all the time this and such other thoughts are what i will reflect on this saturday friends mobile make it easy to communicate as we all know with colleagues friends and relatives they also help in education they help in us to interact on social media promote our businesses earn money do online banking take photographs and location through identify location through gps we use them as calculators and as flashlights even sometimes we set alarms reminders and use them earst while diaries even as they make our life easy our living easy they also harm life as we know to adopt 5g technology which holds a great promise of tenfold increase in data transmission rates you know compared to current 4g networks that we have should we be worried about more health risks the higher performance is achieved by using a higher transmission frequency will the electromagnetic radiation change with higher frequencies causing even more severe psychological effect on us the research has it that there is insufficient data for 5g's health risk assessment apart from mobile phones we use several other devices in everyday life such as our mobile computers tablets notebooks digital media players digital cameras still and video included personal navigation devices wearable devices smart watches smart cards and so on besides interacting with wifi routers and headphones maybe for at least one third of a day every day with a lifestyle that is heavily dependent on these devices we have gone wireless too bluetooth is a new word in our everyday lexicon most of these devices use radio frequency to transmit data whereas radio frequencies operate in the lower end of the electromagnetic spectrum the higher end are energy fields such as x rays and gamma rays the problem however is even these low energy fields can heat up the body as with a mobile phone that is held close to the body in the process however what we miss out is the danger from radiation from all these devices do we know how much radiation we are exposed to every single day most of the wireless devices emit radio frequency electromagnetic fields or which is called as rf emf even the world health organization international agency for research on cancer a decade back classified radio frequency as a possible carcinogenic to humans and concluded that it is associated with a certain type of brain cancer however several recent research reports indicate that cell phone and wireless radiation is positively human carcinogenic in fact as reported in a reputed journal being on the phone for 17 minutes or more a day for 10 years or about 1000 hours of lifetime users use increases the risk of developing brain tumor as far as mobile phones are concerned we should be aware of a unit called specific absorption rate or the radiation level absorbed by the body per mass of tissue 
there are international standards like 2 w by kg or less for the head and torso of this unit and that all mobile devices must conform to the rate translates directly as heat that builds up over time in light of the recent research reports an enhanced risk of cancer must surely make the world health organization revisit their guidelines of 10 watts per square meter exposure level per whole body it's just 2 watts per kilogram is the international standard now apart from cancer risk Mobile phones can also influence our nervous system. They may cause headaches, decreased attention, distraction, shortness of temper, addiction, sleep disorders, and depression. Wasting of time, eye and ear problems, mostly among teenagers. Though radio waves are not the only reason for such symptoms, there can be many other reasons. One important fallout of mobile use could be cyber bullying as well, where harmful content or negative and false narratives about others is sent, posted, or shared. Excess messaging leads to pain in the hands, back, and the neck due to poor posture. It even results in <coughs> musculoskeletal. disorders and arthritis in the forearm and thumb apart from all these there are security issues to contend with when our iphones ios is more secure the operating system is more secure android phones can be hacked more easily resulting in loss of money image and even reputation there is an easy way to check the rate of absorption if you are really interested whichever be the mobile you use just go to the settings open about phone open legal information and even otherwise a spectrum analyzer can do the job for you both will tell you what is the absorption that has happened or what is the maximum absorption that could happen probably it is time the mobile devices come with radiation labeling on the package and appropriate recommendations especially for children and pregnant women the markets are full of anti radiation products such as stickers you know bracelets maternity belly wraps beanies and anti radiation fabrics are they effective in absorbing radio frequency waves there is no scientific evidence that they do so probably we must discourage children elderly and those with comorbidities and the pregnant from using mobile devices for their absorption levels will be much higher they are vulnerable above everything else the best practice is to wire the devices and not make them mobile using a hand free kit or speaker mode to keep the phone further away may also be a good idea in fact we have made wireless and mobile for our comfort without realizing that comfort to comes at a price similarly switching off devices when not in use is the best preemptive measure the earlier generations committed or communicated by writing letters would the teens stand the absurdity of sending a letter and not receiving a reply for a week maybe in today's instant world they would probably turn nervous wrecks of a different kind they use i message twitter facebook snapchat and whatsapp almost 24 by 7 by 365 and are unwilling to wait for more than 60 seconds for replies Why teens alone? Are we all not lost in the technology? Media has often promoted that five-minute off communication will leave us with lost updates and lost business opportunities. 
we are fine with the arguments over text rather than face to face even if they cause misunderstanding and dysfunction what have we come to we have forgotten to talk in the process we have forgotten that there are healthy relationships to make we have forgotten how to write we have forgotten how to read friends from thinking intelligent human beings the near accessibility of technology in everything has created intense dependency disorder that could make us all morons and zombies soon is it not time we realize the beauty of interacting face to face like we were intended by nature should we not look for a course correction then well with that idea let me end this saturday episode with a promise to be back the next saturday until then namaskar dhanyawad and thank you